Welcome back to Three Star War Strategy. Your host, Name of the Lord, here with the next War Hopper episode over at Circa Survive. All right, a little bit of a story to get into. Why don't I bust out an attack? Eh, I'll get into the story. So the story is Circa Survive. Um, they pulled a whole bunch of people over from their um, good friend clan. We'll just call it a good friend clan. Uh, Cryptic, which you can see up in the uh, up here. Cryptic. Uh, they pulled over Cryptic to do a war because Cryptic had 199 wins and everybody was going to be going over to uh, Cryptic to do a huge war um, for win number 200. So they decided to do a war over at Circus Survive before that and happened to match Reddit Mist. Reddit Mist is a uh, clan within the RWCS, anti three bases, three star strats, the works, ended up being a pretty decent clan uh, and war. Um, one Town Hall 10 on either side. So a lot of 9s. A uh, few 8s at the bottom. We'll stick in the 9s for the recap. So let's rock out. Uh, you guys can see the score. You guys know how it went down. A few 9s not cleaned on either side. Uh, both clans did a pretty bang out job. A lot of fun of Fun attacks gonna stay uh, towards the top though. Let me make sure I'm getting this right. We're gonna do, I believe, starting here. Yeah, I, I'm not even gonna uh, dictate whatever. I'm not gonna talk about how this goes down. You guys can check it out. We're doing several of these max EQ attacks, uh, so I'll break them down here in a moment. But basically. The uh, Cryptic Clan came over, and they were going to all head back for the 200th win. Well, some cat was promoted to co over on the other over at Cryptic and decided he'd be super cool and do a little short 10 versus 10 war while everybody was away, and they won and stole the 200th win. Uh, if you want to lose Co quickly, I bet that would be one way to pull that off. Uh, they did win, so now everybody has headed over there now for win number 201. Epic, <laughs> epic stuff. Uh, only in Clash of Clans can you get stuff like this. Uh, but uh, needless to say, both the clans coming together for two for two wars was a lot of fun for everybody here, uh, and they're only halfway done. Uh, you know, really big war coming up soon, getting ready to match uh, possibly tonight. Maybe it's tomorrow. I'm not sure when that's going to go down, uh, but exciting stuff. Regardless, uh, if you were paying attention, the overpowering max EQ attack just went down, but if you don't know how to do it, hang on. We got a few more to go through uh, that are going to feature the same thing. Basically, the reason I'm showing this is because bases need to be adjusted. This is a pretty typical base about three weeks ago. You got your queen offset. And you have your four air defenses uh, basically behind her in some fashion. And what we learned, I don't remember, Moskri, Morski, Moski. I can't ever, I can see it in my head. I just can't pronounce it right. Uh, we were all enlightened by the power of, of the third dimension. We'll just call it the third dimension. And uh, that's 
epically changed bases. You can no longer run a base that has three air defenses accessible by basically a shattered basically a shattered kill squad. Uh, that's all it is. Shattered kill squad with an extra an extra spell. Um, I like to think that it'd be nice to get an air defense up here uh, that's well protected, difficult to get to in a cold-blooded style. Uh, that will help protect your queen from an also up-and-coming strategy of using dragons to uh, eliminate the queen uh, and then a kill squad to trigger double giants on the back half. Uh, that's something to think about. Then you're allow that that'll allow you to put your four your other three air defenses far enough apart that this strategy will not work. Um, it is definitely overpowering. We have. Uh, oh yes, yes. We're gonna actually get a. It's still still loons. Lots of loon attacks in this war. Uh, this was just too pretty for me not to show. Small hole in the base. Um, here's an extra wall right here. Okay, shattered, coming in. Uh, this was just gorgeous. This was absolutely gorgeous. I watched it like two times, three times. I was like, I gotta show this. Uh, I'm gonna get bad air defense protecting the queen there. Uh, do that's bad. Uh, but gonna get two air defenses, queen, CC. I don't think he's gonna get the the sweeper or sweepers, I should say. Uh, but let's wait and see. Once the queen goes down, he's gonna go ahead and start the strat. Gonna roll. He's only got three hounds. Only had three hounds with three air defenses left up. Wanted to get a second air defense. Didn't get it. I forgot. Hound. Patient on the second hound. Needed to get those loons in right away and get them under rage. There they are. Raged. Boom. Need to get to that air defense as soon as possible. Send in that second hound. Very nice timing on that second hound as it gets there right when that other air defense uh, right when that other hound goes down, watch the placement on the spells. Just gorgeous. Love the spell placement here. Um, last hound moving its way over to that last air defense. Beautiful rage here. Has to worry about these two Teslas with an archer tower backing him up. Haste is dropped there. Just moving those things around counterclockwise off of this kill squad over here that first one came in loons and just work this way look at that just gorgeous just gorgeous placement looks just got that hound to burst three hounds for three max air defenses uh very smooth with the spells if it goes down like that uh Wonderful stuff uh, from Reddit. Missed. Most Reddit clans will bring decent war. These guys are a little underpowered. No Town Hall 10s at all. Uh, but they know how to have fun. That's for sure. Uh, here we go. Winning side. Got some more Max EQ. OP attack. Strat. Uh, here we go. One, two, three. Can drop it here. Or... Uh, here, I mean, one, two, three. It, there's just a lot, a lot of possibilities here. Uh, gonna easily get those three air defenses. The first one's already down, as a matter of fact. Queen took that out before she even woke up from her nap. Uh, then these two. The heel play the heel really pays off on this one in my opinion. Sometimes I question it, but there's triple Teslas popping right there. Uh the heel hits the king. Uses the ability, takes out the queen, golems, archer queen, everything getting to the 
the last air defense tri triggered the double giant. You know, not really important, but went ahead and triggered that as well. Uh, then two hounds, two angles, one air defense, uh, and then you just you're sending your loons in on targeted loons. I mean, it's pretty basic. You don't have any spells to maneuver them, but you can see still has a, a hound up that's nowhere near bursting. Uh, and the other one did, did burst, thankfully, because that's going to help spread out the cleanup troops. Um, time not a factor on these attacks. OP, really. I mean, this is a, a decent base as of a few weeks ago with pretty decent hero levels and just no problem wrecking this base at all. You can do that first attack. Five. What do we got? Oh, the Valks. This was... I think the strategy didn't quite play out the way he planned. Adjusted well. We'll watch. I think it's hard to predict Valkyries. Um, you can draw up a plan for Valks, and they will take that plan and put it where the yeah you know what I'm saying. They got a place they want to put it, and it ain't comfortable. Um, little. A little quick on the Valks. Did the CC get pulled when I was... Oh, there's the CC. You don't want that CC getting out in front and taking the abuse of the, the clan castle troops. Uh, but went ahead and dropped the heal. That's going to help them. Uh, they can survive one shot of flame and be healed up by the second one. As you can see, they're pretty much full health still. Then just dropped them in another heal. Jumps wonderful there. That gets the queen... Uh, the queen will jump this wall occasionally if it's not squared off. Square that, square that wall off. Um, and then needed to get over here to this last air defense, I believe. And last, I mean, he's got two air defenses he's got to take care of. Um, thankfully, the king makes its way up there uh, and is going to just barely get that air defense down before he goes down. Had to start sending in the loons. Some of them went down. Uh, and now he's got to deal with the sweeper and the Teslas. Teslas are treacherous uh, against loons with no spells or tanks. So he's going to lose quite a few making their way over here. And then out come some um, bombs and mines and whatever you want to call them suckers. Taking down even more of his loons because he didn't have anything to trigger those, tank for those. Uh, but just barely has enough loons. Just barely has enough life on the queen. And just barely has enough cleanup troops around the base to knock this sucker out. I thought it was well done. I mean, it, was, it had to adapt a little bit, but adapted well. And everybody likes to see a redhead go flying all over the base erratically. Why? I'm not, so, I'm not so sure. All right. Here we go. More max EQ. Uh, don't yawn. Stop yawning. Uh, too many people need to see this stuff. Bases need to get fixed, man. If your base is susceptible to this you need to fix it because uh, if you match a, th a three star clan they know this strategy I've been playing it for too long they know it I'm sorry uh, beautifully placed there's no they, they did not go into this compartment so uh, they can get into this compartment so basically that area is susceptible to the kill squad. Kill squad will take care of that area. Watch it go down. Got golems doing work. Golems are taking down air defenses. If needed, heal helps golems in that circumstance. 
22 queen up, king down as usual. And now targeted loons with two hounds coming in from two different angles on the one air defense. In case y'all didn't know, that spells, you can see that, that's like Japanese, that word I just wrote, Japanese for wrecked. Wrecked them, darn near killed them. Uh, so good job, Bob. Um, again, one hound burst, one hound don't. Might get a burst late. Wouldn't that be nice? Nope, not going to get it. Needs to hit a mine of some kind. And the loons are pretty packed together, but you can see cleanup troops been cleaning for some time. Very nicely done. Hopefully that's the last time we got to watch that crap. Let's go down to number 16. 16. I hope I'm not overplaying this max EQ because, you know, y'all don't comment enough. Y'all don't let me know what you want to see, so I don't know what to play. I like the max EQ still, so I'm still showing it. This is a uh, defender attacker. This is not the right one. Okay, I got to find it. Hold on. Hate it when I do that. It says the attacker is number 16. So I pick base 16. Happens all the time. What can I say? King Plu, 98%. Mr. King Plu, let me in. What can I say? 98%. Didn't he get a three star? I'm, I'm high. What's going on, King? There it is. There it is. All right, King Plu with the three star try to do this when we're less um, inebriated. No, I'm kidding. I don't usually drink more than one beer. Uh, I may have had one beer tonight. What can I say? Three golems. All three in one spot. Guess what? He's not going to have to worry about them not taking this, uh, this wall break. They're all going to go in. Uh, if you can create a funnel and put all three golems in the same spot, go for it. Uh, you don't have to worry about one sitting here banging on the wall instead of not coming around and going in. King Plu is the man. King Plu is the reason I am here. If you are watching this video from Circa or Cryptic, you know KP. KP has been around. Uh, he the man. Wonderful little uh, rage there for the kill squad. Triggers that double giant. Uh, still got a lot of health up in all of the troops. And we're talking level 10. Queen, come on now. This is my young pup right here. Level 10 queen with a teenage king. That's right, almost level 20. He goes with the king first. Why? Because the king needs to stay up to get to the queen. The queen stays back. Uh, yes, it's important to have both heroes up. I'm here, and it's more important to get your king up sooner. There it is. That's the swag we're talking about. Left field swag right here. Only needed one heel. He's just too cool to drop it in the center of the base like everybody else. And still wrecked it. Nice job, King Plu. Thanks for letting me come over and record. Big thank you to all the work. That was uh, that you put in, and uh, I believe dude even has a YouTube channel. Sue me because I don't remember what it is. Let's see if it's in here. Uh, maybe not in here. If I forget to put it in the description, let me know, and I will get it in the description. Good job, everybody from both clans. Hoping to get this thing out to both of you guys. Hope you enjoyed. My little visit to a nice FP three-star clan doing three-star tricks. Until next time, guys, keep killing it, and God bless.